So for this video, we are going to discuss force systems in space. So this is chapter 6 from the book of Ferdinand Singer. So this chapter focused on force or forces with three components. So what we are going to do here is to solve or find the resultant, the components, and also the summation of moment of the given forces. So here we have the formula for the components for the force and of course the diagonal of the rectangular parallel pipe which can be formed based on the coordinates of the given force so here we have force f passing through the origin and at point with coordinates x y z so the relation between the force and its components is simply f is equal to square root of the sum of the square of the components then in our topic resultant of force systems we solve the components based on the given force so for this topic or for this chapter we are going to consider also the dimension of the rectangular parallel pipe so we, we can relate those dimensions and the forces so we can simply use ratio and proportion or the cosine function x y z here take note is also the dimensions of the rectangular parallel pipe with d as the diagonal so if the given is force force f for example we can solve force f z or the components along z by simply using this relation then similarly for f x and f y so we can use the x and y dimension of the rectangular parallel pipe so aside from these variables we also have the angle of inclination of the force with respect to x, y, and z axis. To visualize this clearly, let us consider a three-dimensional force. So I use Autodesk Inventor to draw this uh, figure. So first of all, we have theta sub x or the angle of inclination of the force with respect to the x axis. So in our figure, this is the x axis and this is the given force okay so in this 3d model we can view that theta sub x here so it is in between the yellow force or the force f and this uh, fx so this is our fx or the components of the given force along x this red colored vector so that theta sub x is here so that is the angle between this yellow colored vector and this red colored then for theta sub y so that is simply the angle of inclination of this yellow line and this green line so if you will take a look at our figure so this angle 73 degrees is our theta sub y for this figure then lastly for the angle of inclination with the z axis that is uh, this angle the angle between this yellow colored vector or the force f and this fj so let us have some illustrative problem so this is from the book of ferdinand singer so we have here a force f 300 pounds whose line of action coincides with the line joining points a and b so sa ating first figure we have zero or the coordinates and the point x y z pero dito meron tayong point a chaka point b so hindi na siya from the origin so before you can use our formula we need to identify the dimension of the rectangular parallel pipe which can be formed based from the given points so ito na bali actually yun so ito yung ating rectangular parallel pipe okay so yung given force pwede na yung drawing ng ganito so ito na yung ating force f yung broken line and then yung kanyang mga components so ito na yung fx fx, yung fy, ito na yun, then fj. So, pareho lang yan dito sa figure na to. Okay, so, kailangan natin identify yung ating x, y, and z. So, ito yung ating z. Then, ito yung ating x. Then, this will be our y. So, x is the horizontal distance between the given points. So, our first point is here. So, yung negative 2, 1, and 3. And then, yung second point is positive 3 positive y and negative 3 so x here is simply 
3 units plus 2 units. So, that is equal to 5. Or you can also write 3 minus minus negative 2. Okay, so, which is equal to 5. Then, next, we have the vertical distance between these two points. So, we have here, so 1 for y coordinate. Then, we have here 5. So, 5 minus 1. So, that is equal to 4 units. Okay. Then, last for our z or d, distance between the given two points along z axis. So, we have here 3 units. 3 and then we have a negative 3. So, that is simply equal to 6 units. Okay. So, that is 3 minus then minus negative 3. And then, last for our diagonal d. So, we can use our formula. So, that is equal to square root of quantity. Okay, so, here we started with x coordinate of b. So, that is 3, then minus, minus negative 2. That will become 3 plus 2. Then, next, we have y coordinate of point b. That is 5. So, 5 minus the y coordinate of a is 1. So, this is equal to 4. Then, next, quantity. So, we have z coordinate so negative 3 then minus positive 3 so this will become negative 6 so the shortcut here is to use these values of x y and z to solve for d okay so that is simply d is equal to your 5 square plus 4 square plus 6 square so this is also equal to 8.78 so, we can now use our equations or the ratio and proportion to solve the unknown, which are the fx, fy, and fz components. So, from our formula, so fx over x. So, this is uh, our formula or equation to be used to solve for the unknowns. So, we can solve fx, fy, and fz using this relation. So, next we have resultant of concurrent force systems in space. So, this is somewhat similar dun sa ating topic na resultant of force systems. Pero, meron lang tayong F sub J or the force component along J axis. So, let us have a simple illustrative problem from the book of Ferdinand Singer again. So, determine the resultant of concurrent forces having the following magnitudes and passing through the origin and the indicated points. Meaning, dadaan sila sa origin lahat ng forces na ito. So, pwede natin itabulate yung mga given data. And then, of course, yung mga kailangan din natin isolve. Okay, so, pero mas maganda, i-drawing din natin para ma-visualize natin mabuti itong mga given points. Tsaka yung mga distances. So, three forces yung given. So, kailangan natin isolve yung kanilang mga components along x, y, and z. So, kapag hindi given yung figure, Pwede nyo i-drawing based dito sa mga given points. So basically, ang madudrawing nyo dyan or malalagay nyo na data ay yung nandito sa force and then yung mga distances or yung diagonal ng mga rectangular parallelly pipe, pwede nyo i-solve. So if you are done with the figure, you may now start solving for the diagonal. So the diagonal here is simply equal to square root of 4 square plus 3 square plus 5 square. Pero itong mga na to, ma-solve yan based dun sa mga coordinates. Okay, so yung force P na 200 pounds, so ito yung kanyang mga coordinates. Since dumaan siya ng origin, so yung given coordinates niya, yun na rin mismo yung mga dimensions ng kanyang rectangular parallel pipe. So ito actually yung force P na 200 pounds. So ito yung coordinate. So you can also write, uh, the distance or distances like this one so we can write 5 square root of 2 okay so which is equal also to 7.071 then similarly for force q since uh, force q is also passing through the origin and this point so therefore we can use this as our dimension for its rectangular parallel pipe so this is the force q so, this will be our x, y, and z. So, if you'll take a look at the sign, so y here is negative because it is below the origin. Okay? Then, similarly for z, so that is 
at the back of the origin or papunta siya sa likod. So, negative yung J. Okay? So, you can write your solution for D and the components below your table. Okay? So, but much better to write for, uh, say for example, uh, for force P, you denote this as D1. Okay? And then for force Q, you denote this as D2 and D3 for force F. So, this is equal to 8.37. Or, you can also write square root of 70. Then, for D3, so that is 6 square root of 3 square plus 6 square, then 4 square. So, you can check the values here for D3. Then, next, for the components, again, you can write your solution below your table. So, we can denote this as Px, Py, and Pz. So, similarly for Q, Ux. So, let us check for Px. So, now we can use our equation. So, Px over its x distance or the components of the distance or simply the dimension of the rectangular parallel pipe at force P. So, yung x dito ay equal to 4. So, Px is equal to given force. So, force P over D. So, D here is 7.5. 0, 7 or our d1 so px over your x is 4 equal to force p 200 over d1 is 7.07 .07. so we can check px so which is equal to 4 multiplied by 200 over 7.07 .07. so that is equal to 113.15 pounds based from this solution so you can check the values of the other components Okay, so after solving all of these components, you need to sum up or solve for the summation of x, summation of y, and then summation of forces along z. So this will be our summation of forces along x. This is summation of forces along y. Then lastly, this is summation of forces along z. Oh, so kapag na-sum up na natin lahat, we can now use our formula for the resultant. So, next subtopic, we have moment of a force about an axis. So, ang pinaka-basic dito na dapat yung tandaan, kung saan kaya magmo-moment, dapat ilagay nyo yung inyong line of sight doon. Halimbawa dito, so meron tayo yung x-axis tapos yung given force. So, kapag nag-moment tayo about sa x-axis, ilalagay natin yung ating line of sight dito. And then, ang makikita natin dito ay itong side view. Okay? So, and then from that, pwede na kayo mag-assume ng moment, either clockwise or counterclockwise. So, dito naka-assume na counterclockwise yung positive. Okay? So, from this, you can solve for the summation of moment along x. So, this is our x-axis. So, assuming counterclockwise positive, so we have, so yung fj, ang moment niya ay clockwise. So, that is negative. So, ito siya. And then, for fy, so counterclockwise, so positive. So, in kasi natin, counterclockwise positive. Kung mapapansin natin, yung fx, wala siyang moment about sa x kasi parallel siya. Okay? So, basta parallel siya dun sa ating axis of rotation, wala na yung moment. Basta ang titignan natin, kung may tendency siyang mag-rotate, may moment siya. So, let us consider some illustrative problem. So, this is the given force, force f again, passing through this point and this point. The given here is a dimension, so we don't have the coordinates. But the coordinate of this, this point is obviously for x. So, this, if this is 0, so x here is 6. And then, for y, so we have 0. Kasi wala naman tayong inangat na y distance. And then, for z, that is simply 4 units. Pero actually, kahit hindi na natin, isolve to or ilagay. So, alamin na lang natin yung rectangular parallel pipe or yung dimension ng ating rectangular parallel pipe para alam natin yung diagonal tsaka yung x, y, and z. So, bali ito yung ating mapoform na rectangular parallel pipe dito with dimension 4 or 4 feet, 3 feet, and we have 4 feet for z. So, this will be our x, this is your y, and this is our z. Then, using our distance formula, you can solve for the diagonal d which is equal to 6.4 so yung unit natin ay naka feet so this is in feet 
So using our relation between the components and the force, we can solve for the components. And then last, we can now solve for the moment of the force. So ang required dito, yung moment of the force about each coordinate axis. So lahat ng axis magmo-moment tayo. So like what I said before, kapag magmo-moment kayo, for example sa x, lalagyan natin yung ating line of sight dito. Assuming ito yung ating mata, yung ating line of sight ay paganyan. So ang makikita natin dito sa force ngayon ay ito yung ating y-axis, ito yung ating z-axis. So therefore, nandito yung ating f, y. So yung ating f, z. Yung f, x, wala na yung moment. So solving for the moment about x or about the x-axis, then assuming counterclockwise positive, so we have Fy and Fy multiplied by its moment arm. So yung distance mula dito hanggang dito ay yung ating Z or 4 feet. So Fy multiplied by 4. So the direction of our moment is clockwise, so that is uh, negative. So we can now substitute Fy yung 93.7 dito. Then similarly for moment about the y-axis. So, lagi lang natin yung ating line of sight dito. So, makikita natin ay ito yung z is ito yung ating x. So, therefore, this is our fx and this is our fz. So, the coordinates again from this point. So, mula dito hanggang dito yan ay 4 units or 4 feet. Then, from this point up to this so, we have actually 6. Okay, so take note, dito tayo nagmo-moment sa y. Okay, so, this is our y, top view. So, the distance between this point and this point is 6 feet. Okay, so this is 6 feet. So, yung fj kanina, nang solve ay equal to 1, 2, 5. Then, for fx, this is also 1, 2, 5. Then again, assuming counterclockwise moment positive. So, we have moment of Fj. So, that is positive. Okay, so, yung Fj, ang moment arm niya, so 6. So, 1, 2, 5 multiplied by 6. So, this is Fj. And then, next, we have Fx. So, yung Fx, clockwise. So, therefore, siya ay negative. So, negative 1, 2, 5 multiplied by its moment arm is 4 feet. Then, lastly, for moment along Z, let us put our line of sight here. So, we have the z axis so we have y or the y axis and the x axis so the force can be visualized at this point with the component okay so this is equal to 93.7 then its distance from the origin or point c is again uh, 6 feet okay so therefore assuming again counterclockwise moment we can solve moment along z axis so that is uh, 93.7 multiplied by 6 feet. Okay, so again, counterclockwise positive. So this is positive. So therefore, this is equal to 562.2 foot pounds. That's all for this video. For the second part of this video, you may open the video description for the link. Thank you for watching.